Hello, 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 and welcome back. This is game 49 of 50 for the first series that I'm going to be putting out. And I mean, simple as that. If you're here at this point, you probably know what we're doing. Oh, I haven't done Thorgate in a long time. Let's have a peek. A little bit of energy. A little bit more energy. Okay. That's really not all that bad, actually. Uh, part of me wants to grab the giant ice asteroid just because. It's just so much terraforming that you need help doing. And then it's just a question of what? We start with $48? Like, my god. These, these cards are pretty outstanding starting cards, to be honest. And this TR gives us income. So if I spent all of this, that's like half of our monies. Sadly, this titanium doesn't help us in any way. Um, the mole hole is great, but we can't get it quickly. Let's see, 21, then we play Lunar Beam and Solar Wind, or Deep Well probably. And that would be 20 bucks, and we'd have like seven left over, which is unfortunately just shy of the Rad Chem. I think we do this start. And um, I really want to get the mine, actually, I'm realizing. So that's an obvious one. You lose income, but it's it's fine. Um, this is basically income because of the heat bump. And then the mine is two income towards important structures. We do a quick pass. And we're in a pretty decent spot. Did I? Okay. Um, Steelworks and Arctic Allergy are both fantastic cards. Uh, we can't get Steelworks this turn. And we will not be able to get it if I reduce our energy income. So the question is, do I build solar wind power or do I not build solar wind power? And I honestly think I wait. And that we get steelworks and maybe even mole hole next turn. And that lets our steel pile up just a little bit. Gives us enough for uh, a heat bump again. Urbanized area cannot be played right now. This is also good when you have lots of excess energy, but we're not going to have that much now that we have an energy use card. So I will take the media group because it's it will be good. It's always a good card. Then we got to get that steelworks pumping, and we will use the steel on it. Then we activate. Now we still can't build Radchem without building Solar Wind, so we're gonna have to Solar Wind. Um, oh, I have two steel. Yeah, it's not enough for that, obviously. But I know I said I was gonna get the Mohole, but it's a little bit further out. I mean, next turn we will get the Mohole because not only do I have a steel production, I have two more coming in. That's like ten, half the cost and value. We have the extra energy, so we can do. Um, the other thing, though, I should have just built it earlier. This is... I like Protected Valley and Nitrogen Rich Asteroid. I feel like the combination is strong because it can often be hard to get plant tags. But we have five cards in hand. Let's just chill out. Um, bam. I'd really love to have had that heat bump. Let's get the mohole. Mohole. And I could rad chem this turn if I get something back for this, but I still I'd rather go for the cards, honestly. We'll wait on uh anti-grav. Um Terraform Ganymede is like, you know. 
a cool card and all, but it's not for this, not for this build. Next turn we'll get more heat production by hitting the break point. I mean, here's a lot of research tags. Is it worth going for research? Most people would say, Matt, you're crazy. You have no income. How the hell are you going to do research? Uh, but I want to, so I will. Let's do this. Because that means I have enough for research and rad count. And what's our extra card? Gene repair. I just, you know me, loving those research. Ooh, this was one more dollar. What would we go for it with? Titanium and a plant and get in here so we can scoop this stuff up in the future. Like, do I take two money production or... I think I sell a card. Um, Terraforming Ganymede, for instance, is just not particularly powerful for our build, nor will it be later on. Uh, but do I want a titanium production? Like, I do for the giant ice asteroid. So I'll take it. And I'll put it here. As discussed. I almost took the steel. It was really close to it, but I think this is better in the long run as far as value is concerned. And I know I have at least one card that will use it. And we have steel income at three because of our action we can take, so. Science. And energy, which is cheap. But if we really need energy, we can spend $8 without needing to buy a card. Oh, but that one gets used for steel. We just don't need it, and it's not that great for us. Um, so I'm going to use the titanium we have. Lightning Harvest. That's a really good card, actually. I still kind of want to do gene repair, though. Which I don't think I can do both. In fact, I'm sure we... Well, no, we can't. Yeah, we could do... Radchem, though, with the other one, and that's, that's value. Well, except I want science tags. How many science tags do we get? Four? So we can have five right now? Fine. I'll stay away from the science tags for a turn, just for you, because I know you're thinking, why the heck are you going for science? Um, Because I love science. Because science gives you the high score runs. Because high score runs are really what I'm here for. Winning is, like, the most important. Because if you lose, your score is zero. But I love me a high score. Earth Elevator. Is it too late for Earth Elevator? Like, I'm trying to think. $27. We can use steel to build it and our titanium. It's only going to produce six times. Six times three is like 18 bucks. Plus we can make another six times three. So we technically make profit in the long run building it because it's only like 30 to build. But then it's weird. You kind of have to go out of your way to get it. And it slows down the science without giving that much value. It's just two points. I gotta take it, but I and I'm gonna take the science tag obviously, and I have to build the science tag first. I don't mind this too much because I'm gonna scoop two steel with it because I need to do it before the oxygen went up. Then we'll get two more steel. Then we'll build the elevator. We will use one less titanium or steel rather. 
And then we will use the steel to make the monies. Uh, then we'll do the heat bump. And that's what I mean, right? Like, we did all that to get some income, where gene repair would have just made us money for very low investment. Not to mention, like, we're getting into a situation where our heat is not going up fast enough. It's only Generation 8, so no need to get crazy here. These combo really well together, and this could solve some plant issues. Okay. I hate I hate going off this, but we need it. We need this. We got so we got the extra five bucks coming in now, which feels good. We need to building industries, and then we can also get our first ounce into the positive money production. Gene repair, and then we the planet hmm so the giant ice asteroid and all this stuff is really making me feel more comfortable about a couple of things the arctic algae needs to be played at minus 12 so we're kind of getting close to that but as far as tags are concerned we are at seven i could have played it this turn but getting the production would have given us more value so 14 bucks now cards are really good because they're all minus two Mangroves could help us. Sponsors. Five productions of two is technically good. Well, and it's two dollars cheaper. And it's two dollars cheaper. And it's cards are good for us. I'm gonna stick to that. Cards are good for us. Because the more cards, the more discount. Remember, anti-graph technology, think of it as like two income every time you play a card. Sure, you don't need to be told that over and over and over again, but I need to say it. Um, so now we just hold on for one more turn. Sadly, I thought we'd be able to get this, but I forgot that we actually need oceans to get wave power. But next turn, we're going to get arctic algae. We're going to have tons of titanium, because we'll have six. And then we'll do ice asteroid, and we'll, we'll figure out some things. And now we're only into turn 10 now, so I feel good about our placement. Like, it's not super poggers, but it's, like, close to super poggers. Advanced alloys. Oh, oh. Lord, give me mercy. The way I look at that is we have like minus one because we're selling a steel, but we're creating two extra steel. So really that's like six income a turn. Then you have something like the capital, which is a good steel dump, but we already have pumping. Okay. Grab them all. As promised, time to do Arctic algae. Then I will do a sale. Then I'll do some of this. Before buying the giant ice asteroid. Oh yeah. That feels good. Um, I'm going to immediately go into pumping all this stuff out. That's good. That's real good. No, the media group! I didn't play it! Oh my god, I'm sometimes my own worst enemy. Like, it's not that big a deal, but it feels bad. It feels real bad. Um... Aquifer pumping is pretty unreasonably cheap now. Then we do the action. 
I'm gonna go over here. So this whole place is so ready to be nestled by our capital, which we're short on by a dollar. But we wouldn't want to play it anyway because it would bring our energy out of range of doing our oxygen bombs. Though, do we really need them? Think about putting it here. Doesn't that get us the capital this turn? You know what? I will do it. I'll skip out one turn of... I mean, it's a lot of steel we're giving up to not get that bump as well, but... I'm kind of okay with it, clearly. I'm kind of wondering if I'm saving this spot for a city, too. Hard to say. Like, let's grab that spot. And then we'll build a green right here. I mean, this spot here is going to be equivalently good, but getting two plants was enough to get the green ring. Look at our, yeah, look at that oxygen. This is turn 10. And it's not like we're skipping out on terraforming the planet. We're just, like, or, or skipping out on greeneries and cities and stuff. We're just getting really high on TR first. Ooh, knocked a city. That's really good. Windmills, that's good too. Can't play this. Mining area, you genuinely would make more money if I just play you. So, heat bump. Sell a steel. Use a steel. Um... So this I want to definitely put the mangroves in. Oh wow, Windmills is down to one dollar. Thought I would be using my steel for that, but no. I guess I, I want to greenery this turn. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do it, whether it's with an ocean, with I think I want to build that city now. So, city for 25 goes here. Then we greenery. Then we knock this city here. I'm confused. Knock this city, right? Oh, did I click greenery? Oh, okay. Um, this gives us money back right away, so we may as well. Mid as well. Then the Noctis City. Could have waited till next turn where I had more steel, but. I could lava flow. I feel like we need to lava flow. Like, not that we won't be able to afford the standard projects, but. But it's just a good idea. Earth catapult. Wow. Like, the game knows me, and it knows I love Earth Catapult, but it's I've already spent all my cards, so it's almost certainly not realistic to get it. Like, why would I pay for that? I don't know, because we've, like, terraformed the planet before anything has even... Like, we're doing so well. <laughs> uh, these cards are good. So... I guess Earth Catapult, sure. So everything's like minus a million. We use a titanium here. I honestly should have just overpaid for it. Imported GHG. It's a dollar. Right? Like, that's pretty outstanding. Heat bump gives us the ocean. We will heat bump again. Mangroves. We can't mangroves? What do you mean we can't mangroves? Uh, we will do the oxygen bump. We will sell the steel. We will... I mean, I really want a mangroves here. I know I can anyway, but like... 
We're gonna overspend the steel and get a card. Beam from a thorium. Wow, look at that. Minus nine right now. This spot of yours were two points, so no no sense avoiding that. And I think I take all this money to the next round, like. Or I just buy a city here now and get the one income from it. I'm willing to wait. We might get like a some sort of really good draw or something next turn that because we still need a little bit of heat. I'm gonna do one heat bump. And that way I can get my mangroves like I wanted this turn. And then I can get another greenery down. Though putting down the greenery doesn't even really matter. We'll do it. Oh, wrong button. And then we'll pass with 22 bucks, which is just absurdly great. I mean, getting the Arctic algae is so good. I love Earth Office, and it's it is free to play, so I'll do it. This is a whole bunch of points for using our titanium. Here's our second uh, thing, and that's a point using our steel. Pretty great cards, not going to lie. So, steel. This using steel. Wait, what's the other card we have? Uh, that'll use three steel. Okay. They're, they're both like the same. Where can I place this for steel? I'm, but I don't think I have more than one steel card, right? No. Um, we have twenty dollars in titanium right now. I really want more cards, but like. Oh, why did I grab the steel? I didn't mean to. It doesn't matter because I'm going to do the other ocean anyway, but feels like I should have overpaid in steel for that card for that first ocean. And then I could have overpaid for this as well. Save me a buck. Oh, I forgot I had the Earth office. So that's like just ludicrously cheap. Um, standard project city. Yo, right here. Um. So, let's see. We have one more greenery, and let's pretend it's gonna go here. We could city here. Greenery. And that would be better than two green reads. I mean, I could have gone for cards, but just didn't seem like there was much value in it. Now, the question here is I have a card I could sell. And if I went here, I'd get four bucks. I mean, I could also go down in that trench. And getting the four bucks and selling a card. Oh, I forgot about the heat bump I have to pay for. Oh, I just lost a point. Boo. Because I could have placed it here for two points. Oh, no. Undo. Undo. <laughs> no. This is why Thorgate gets a bad rap. Because of me. Well, actually starting with energy cards, though. Pretty good. Classic. That was not the last round. You're ahead of the curve. Slow it down. Oh, my God. Uh, we don't, this is a point, use lots of tight, yeah, okay, we'll do these. We have steel. Um, oh my god, we're gonna get more points. Though I definitely could have min-maxed in better ways now. Just trying to think of where's the best place for the open city. 
Had I known, I would have put it like here and then tried to share these spots. Could I go here for the money back? Definitely need to put a greenery there. This is a point for 11, but we'll, we'll, we'll do that one last if we have like an automatic cash. All right. The only place that to me that makes sense is here or here. So I'm going to do this one because then I know I'm going to get a greenery here and here. So I can afford to buy a greenery here and see what the card is. Hashtag really thinking ahead here. Well, that sucks. So I could also build a city here. The next turn greenery will go there. I mean, building a greenery itself is two points, so it's just whether or not a city's worth more or equivalent. Because I know I'm building one here, because that already shares a spot. So we may as well go there. Um, well, maybe not. Because 23 leaves me with 16. Either way, I can get tectonic stress power. I'm going to do the city. Just because I really do value seeing what the card is. I mean, it's a point. It's a point, and I could put it here to get $4 back and two plants. Pretty good. Three points. See, this was a three-point play instead of a... Instead of not a three-point... Oh, because... Oh, never mind. We can sell Nitrolithic Moss. That's why it was worth it. So this could go here. That's also worth two points now, but there's no way of getting one there. Then we sell patent. I mean, as always, I will give the argument that you may have been able to optimize this in such a way to get another point out of it, but I'm very confident with this being, being very good. <laughs> I mean, unsurprisingly, this is good. We had an extra generation just to score points on points on points. Wow. Yes! 121. I think that's our... Let me, let me look. 121 with Thorgate. Oh my god. That's our new second place finish in our win column. I think that's our new second best score ever in our recorded games. What a banging finale. Oh my god. The... This is huge. I hope you enjoyed. I sure enjoyed playing it. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.